In this video, we're going to learn how to use a return statement inside a void function in C. We'll also talk about why we may want to do that. So typically, we use a return statement to have a function return a value. So for example, we can make a function here called increment, and the increment function is going to return an int. It's going to accept an int as an argument, and what we'll do is return that int value plus one. So the increment function is going to return the int value that it was passed incremented by one. We could call the function in main. Here we could have printf percent d backslash n, and we're going to call increment. We're going to have here increment one. So here we call increment and we pass it the value one as an argument. The parameter x is going to be set to one. So here this expression x plus one is going to evaluate to two and the function is going to return that value. It's going to return two. So this here is going to become two and we're going to output two here. So we can save, compile and run the program and our program output is two. So typically the reason why we use a return statement is to return a value like this but the return statement also stops the function. So for example, if we had here printf output this, this call to printf here is never going to actually execute. And that's because in addition to returning this value, this return statement here is also going to stop the execution of this function. So if we save, compile and run the program, we just get two as output. That call to printf didn't execute. And that's because in addition to returning the value, the return statement also stopped the execution of the function. So this function here has type int. What that means is that the function must return an int value. If for example, we were to comment out this return statement and then try to save, compile and run the program, we'll get a compiler error here. It says non void function does not return a value. So a void function is a function that has a void return type. And what's special about a void function is that it doesn't need to return a value. So we might use a void function to do something like output the elements of an array. For example, we could make a void function called print array. And this function will accept an array as an argument, as well as the length of the array as an argument. And we'll have a for loop here with a counter variable i that's going to go from zero up until the length of the array by one. So the counter variable i is going to go over all of the array indexes. And what we'll do is output the value of the element at that index with printf percent d space, and then the element in the array at the index i. And after we've output the array elements, we'll also output a new line character with printf new line. Then down here in main, we could declare and initialize an int array with int array and we'll have the elements one, two, three, four, and five. Then down here, we could call print array with print array, array, and five. And if we save, compile, and run the program, we do get the array elements as output. So this function here doesn't return a value, but it is still useful because it outputs the array elements. Now void functions are not required to use a return statement, but void functions are allowed to use return statements, not to return a value, but instead to stop the execution of the function. So for example, it would not make any sense to have an array length that is less than zero. For example, if we passed in negative one here, we could check for that. Here we could have if length is less than zero. And then we could use a return statement here, not to return a value, but instead to stop the execution of the function. So here we could have return and then semicolon, and that's it. The execution of the function will stop right here if length is less than zero. Down here, we could output done. We'll have printf done. So now we'll output the text done when the function is done executing. And if we save, compile, and run the program, all we get as output is the text done. The array elements are not output. And that's because the length that's passed in is negative one. And if length is less than zero, 
we use this return statement here to stop the execution of the function and the array elements are not going to be printed out. So this is an example of where we could use a return statement inside a void function, despite the fact that the function is not going to return a value. And to use a return statement inside a void function, all we need to do is use the return keyword followed by the semicolon character, and that will do it. Now one pretty neat thing about using a return statement inside a void function is a void function can return a call to another void function. So for example, let's say here we have a void function to output a length error. We'll have here void and then length error. And this function is going to output an array length error. We'll have here printf invalid array length. Then here, we could actually call this function. We could have length error here. And this will actually work. And if we save compile and run the program, we do get invalid array length. So what's happening here is not that a value is being returned. What's happening here is that just before the execution of the print array function stops due to the return statement, the length error function is called and it outputs invalid array length. So this is how we can use return statements inside a void function using C. Check out PortfolioCourses.com, where we'll help you build a portfolio that will impress employers, including courses to help you develop C programming projects.